Malaya Turner gunned down near a rec center last year. Her mom, Michelle Smith, simply trying to live her life. It's all a lot of days, you know. Today was one of them days. Without her little girl. That's my second child been murdered, you know. Nobody should have to bury their children. When am I going to get justice? She says she doesn't see change on the horizon for safety on the streets of Baltimore. My hope right now is not that great. While the bloodshed continues. Friday, pressing the mayor on the question about the need for a short-term crime plan. Do you agree with the city council members who are coming out calling for a short-term crime plan in addition to the five-year crime plan that you have in place? Well, again, as much as you guys say it, there's always already been a short-term plan, right? You just heard me talk about it. When, what do you think it is when the police are arresting and seizing more guns, when they're clearing more homicides, right? That's stuff that you can do in the immediate and the short term, and we have to continue to do more of it each and every day. This push comes after six council members demanding answers from the police department by June 3rd. And the latest criticism coming from Governor Larry Hogan in this letter, demanding to know where state dollars are being spent Adding, in February, you assured us there was a comprehensive plan in place, but at this point, I do not believe anyone, including you, believes it's working. The fact that McKenzie here had the letter before I had it lets you know that this was just a publicity stunt. I'm open to meeting and working with him. The mayor says all aspects of the criminal justice system need to come to the table to ensure criminals are held accountable. It's an issue we've been pressing him on and other leaders for weeks. As questions loom about just how capable City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby is to handle the number of cases in her office. Fox 45 News obtaining data showing homicide, major crimes, narcotics, and the shooting units all down prosecutors. Mayor Scott, are you concerned about the level of staffing that we're seeing in the, the current state's attorney's office when it comes to everybody at the table doing their job and holding people accountable? Well, I'm concerned about the level of staffing, uh, not just there, but it's really across the board, right, in public safety. Mayor Scott says the crime plan is working, but the people living in the city don't all agree. A recent Fox 45 News informal survey asking viewers if they think the mayor, quote, is capable of getting crime under control shows 99% of people saying no. Meantime, you don't want to go out at night. You know what I'm saying? You don't even got to go out at night. It's, it's, it's to the point where even during the daytime, you know, so you, you just living in fear, period. The growing sense of fear continues in Baltimore City.